Welcome everybody to a new live stream of Flower Circus and today we're going to have a great show we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to make some great arrangements with uh, Michael van Namen. Can't wait uh, to invite him into the stream. Uh, if you have any questions for Michael, please ask them. I mean, uh, he's a talented uh, florist and he knows a lot. So uh, yeah, when he's there, uh, because I think I lost connection. Uh, he, he was so nervous. I think he he pressed the wrong button. So uh, we have to wait a little bit uh, for him. Uh, Caroline, welcome. Uh, please, uh, trying to set up a new computer, not going very well. Uh, you can always uh, check uh, on your phone, of course. Uh, Martin, welcome as well. Thank you for joining. Uh, and let's see where well, we've got Michael because he's away. He's there with John, so uh, let's hope uh, they can uh, reconnect uh, soon. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, say so. And, and also, I'm very interested where you're from. So uh, let me know uh, where you're from. And uh, let's check where they are, because they're already doing some magic. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I thought I had a flower magician and not, uh, not a magician that he's, <laughs> he's going in another way. So let's invite uh, Michael into the stream. Michael, welcome. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thanks, John, for having me. Yeah, great, great entrance. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work, I heard. Yeah, the, uh, you work in some kind of uh, Houdini. Oh, we already we're heard some. from Mars, so we're not from, from Holland right now. Okay, so we actually get, uh, get already some people in. Uh, Martin Groen from Friesland. Welcome, Martin. Uh, Lucas Janssen is in. Uh, Lucas. Tiffany, hi from Pa. Tiffany, Tiffany Moyer. Uh, Tamara Bebache was saying hello. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. The whole world is watching almost. Yeah, everybody's, uh, everybody's already here. So, uh, That's yeah. Good. That's good. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions for Michael, uh, just ask them. Yeah, you can always. And ask I think it's, uh, it's about time that, uh, that Michael starts because uh, we're here for, for you. Yeah, and, uh, we have just one hour. Yeah, so uh, let's start. All right. All right, welcome, everybody. So we're going to make this hour very, very nice, and we're going to make a lot of beautiful arrangements. And I hope that you like them, of course. Normally, I'm standing in front of an audience worldwide, and now I'm standing just for an iPad, and for, for everyone at home, of course. So I have my dear closest friend with me, uh, John Koopman, and uh, he's, uh, he's also from uh, Flower Circus, of course. Here he is. And he's giving me my first arrangement that I'm going to make. So I use baby breath with beautiful colors, beautiful colors. And um, sometimes you are in the clouds that you feel happy and that you're in a cloud. So I make a little bit of clouds of a beautiful baby breath. So John is going to give me some flowers that I'm going to add to the arrangement. Thank you, John. Thank you, perfect. Welcome. Thank you. You're good. For an assistant, you're uh, nicely dressed up, uh, John. <laughs> yes, he is. He's doing a good job. Yeah. Actually, Mike was using a very special kind of gypsum filler. Everybody, of course, knows uh, the white one, the excellence. But this from uh, the farm Malima from Ecuador is the uh, is the painted one or the tinted one. It's the the rainbow. So it gives a great color and a great effect. It's a beautiful one. It is. So the thing that I'm now going to do, I'm going to add the flowers between the gypsophilia. And you see that the color combination with the gypsophilia and the spray roses is very, very nice. It's too bad that you cannot smell this one because it has a great smell. Maybe in yep. 10 years from now, you can also smell it. Yeah, but uh, let, let's hope. Uh, let's hope so, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, actually, it's, uh, it's the Rosa Purple Essence. The one with has a, a really nice scent to it. It's also available in pink. It's from uh, the grower Opstal. And uh, like you said, it also gives a little bit of better effect to the bouquet once you have a nice scent in it. Yeah, you see that you are working with different kinds of colors. So you give a very interesting look at the arrangement. Also, I'm working with Lysientes from Van der Lucht, uh, beautiful ones. Yeah. And also put them between the gypsophilia. So you can almost use the gypsophilia like foam, like floral foam. Yeah. Uh, that you can put it between it. 
Uh, look, Joe Hammonds is say, saying hi as well. Hi, Joe. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hi, Karin Joe. Kosman, we're all, we zijn al fan van je. You already got yeah. fans. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. So, uh, and Yolanda hello, saying hello. hi, John, John, and Michael. Hello, hello, hello. So, it's very important that you turn your bouquet now and then. Yeah, you really. It looks like you. If you're with the head, with your head in the clouds, in the gypsy yes, clouds. Yes, it is. It looks nice, right? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. And did you notice that uh, there are no leaves on the gypsy villa? That's something what the, the the farm does. They take off all the leaves. Yeah, so that's why you really pay all the attention to the beautiful flower that it has. Yeah. It really looks nice. Yeah. And it's not only the purple essence you're using, right? I also see uh, see another spray rose there. Yeah, yeah, it is. So I used uh, three kinds actually. Uh, one of the, of the little pink ones, the one of the, that has some beautiful fragrance, and this one is also a very very pretty one. Yeah. So I always like to use a lot of different kind of flowers. So you see that I use the frame in the middle of it, put um, gypsophilia around it, so really like a cloud, and then put all the spray roses in there. Okay, yeah, it really so looks nice. Every time you have to be very strong, you have to turn your bouquet every time, again and again. Lysiantas, add them also in the arrangement. We already say, uh, mooi bouquet, Frederica Dikken, nice bouquet. Uh, Thank you so much. Ginny van Leeuwen, we zitten hier gezellig met Lilu en Oma. That's good, that's my family, that's my cousin. <laughs> that's nice. Pinnick is saying you're always with your head in the clouds. <laughs> what? You're always with your head in the clouds. Uh, yeah. Monique <laughs> Beke from Antwerpen is being alone. All right, also the chrysanthemum I'm going to use. There are very tiny ones, you can see them. They're very, very, very small. But I think yeah. when I'm using that, it will beautiful blend in with the gypsophilia. It's so, really nice. Actually, this is a chrysanthemum that's not on the market yet. There are a lot of... We, we uh, have a scoop. Yeah, this one will be on the market in three weeks. It's a uh, centini. It's called uh, yeah. Pixel Snowy. It's got a huge amount of flowers on it, so that's, that's really great. Uh, grower is Zento, the breeder is uh, Deliflor. It's, it's great in every bouquet. I mean, so many flowers. And... Uh, we also, of all the bouquets we make, by the way, we will take pictures and later on the, the Flower Circus website, uh, Facebook, and of course, uh, Instagram as well. We will uh, place all the bouquets so you can see uh, what Michael made. That's good. That's good. So you see with all the kinds of different kind of flowers and the flowers that you're using, you make the bouquet very interesting to look at. So actually the Gypsophilia has a really, really nice color and really blends in with the other, uh, with the other beautiful flowers. So I'm going to add a few more chrysanthemum to it. You see that the bouquet is very handmade, of course, and hand tied. Yeah. So all the flowers has to be to the same direction. It's always very important to do that. And every time turn your bouquet. But it's going to be very heavy, so you have to be a little bit strong. But a lot of people with small hands, it's very tough to have a bouquet like this in your hand. And you know what they say about people with large hands? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they can make very big bouquets. <laughs> Sorry. Also, the Crospedia, you have them in different kind of colors. We all already know them from yellow, of course, but these are painted. It, and I think it's really nice to make the combination with the Gypsophilia with it. Did you paint these yourself or did you buy them painted? No, I actually buy them painted. Yeah. Yeah, that's also from Ecuador, also from Lima. Uh, next to uh, Gypsophila, they also have uh, Crospedia and some other summer flowers. Unfortunately, the, the farm isn't running 100% yet. So uh, they could supply us with uh, beautiful Crospedias and, uh, and beautiful uh, Gypsophila. And then hopefully we can enjoy their uh, summer flowers soon again as well. Yeah, that should be great. So you see that the Crospedia, I, I put them a little bit lower in the arrangement that you get more, yeah, we call it the three-dimensional look, but you have more that the bouquets and the flowers are more in levels. 
So you can see that I put them a little bit closer on top of the gypsophilia, and sometimes I put them a little bit lower between it. Michael, uh, Lucas Janssen is saying uh, the, the Craspedia are big ones. Yeah, they are big ones. Yes. Hi, Lucas. And uh, I think you got your first customer already for this bouquet. Uh, right. You can send it to Leuven. <laughs> All right, that's good, that's good. So we have to send it up then. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it, that's good, yeah. that's good. So it's a really right. nice, colorful bouquet. I think it's a nice way to start the Flower Circus show with a colorful bouquet. I mean, uh, they're colorful as well during our show. We have to, right? We are, we are, we are happy colorful people at, at, at Flower Circus. So at the end, I'm going to add some green to it around the bouquet to make it actually much more bigger. Yeah. And the greens actually, they come from Australia. The, the, the supplier is Abamex. The greens are from Australia, it's coral fern. It really gives a, a nice and exclusive look to the bouquet. Yeah, it does. Joe Hammond is- So a lot of people are always saying from, oh, it's almost a sort of wig. Oh, it is, but it's better for your hair, John. Yeah, it looks much better than the bold variety I have now. <laughs> Ludmila oh, from Minsk, okay. hello. Hello, Ludmila, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. All right, then I have the bouquet like this. So it's really a lot of colors. Really, a, actually a happy bouquet. It's almost more like a rainbow bouquet. It's, uh, so you it's see that all the structure with the, with the beautiful different kind of flowers. With the green, it gives you more like an exclusive look. A lot of people are always saying, all right, can I also buy this in the store? Of course you can buy this in the store. But we, because we're giving a demonstration, we always do it and making it big. So you can make also a small variety, of course, and make something different than this. But it's more like an example of what you can do with beautiful flowers that we have. Yeah. So I will cut the stems. Joe I Hammond always cut saying, the stems in an angle. Yeah. Michael, Joe Hammond is saying, I have transgender customers who, who would love this. What? Sorry, sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, Joe Hammond says uh, she has transgender customers who really love this bouquet. That should be a great thing. Yeah, that should be a great thing. That's one of the reasons why Michael is still also loving it. <laughs> why I am making it. So I finish it up with a rope around it. And I can promise you that the bouquet is really, really happy. Because the frame, of course, with a few flowers in there. Yeah, the, the gypsophila looks light, and uh, but it's uh, it's very heavy quality. So that makes it in the end, it makes it a heavy bouquet. Yeah, it is. It is. So for me, it's actually the first time that I'm doing this at home and just showing you online a demonstration because normally we have a standing audience in, uh, in front of us. So for me, it's the first time, but it's really special to talk to an iPad that I see. But I know that everyone is watching at home, of course. So thank you so much, everyone, that, that you're, you're viewing out to Flower Circus. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Great. my bouquet is finished. This is the first one. And I will give you some applause. <laughs> and of course, because it's Facebook, I will put the thumbs up. Always clean up the table a little bit for our next arrangement. So a lot of people are knowing me that I like really beautiful, beautiful bowls and beautiful materials. Oh, so the next one that I'm going to make, it's extremely heavy. Oh, I, well, I have a very strong man that's carrying it. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. All right. It's a beautiful MOBA bowl. I, I, I really, really like this material. The colors are extremely pretty. Oh, and uh, now he's doing a trick again, probably, Michael, because uh, he's gone away. That's that's what you get with magicians. Uh, hopefully, he wants to show more than uh, only one bouquet. Let's uh, let's find out how quickly they can uh, they can reconnect. Uh, I think I, I heard something dropping there. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see if they come back. Uh, I really liked the, the first bouquet, especially uh, with the gypsophila. The, 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 
the tinted one it looks great i mean uh it's really a fashion i can see it in a lot of uh, a lot on pinterest a lot on on facebook as well so uh, that looks really great and i think they are back again it's two people and they're playing hide and seek so uh, let's see if we can get uh, michael back into the screen yep yeah there you are. so let's yeah, see us I can see you, yeah, <laughs> fine. All right, all right, then it's good, then everybody can see us. Hope so, hope so. All right, so I don't know if the people are selling it, but John brought me a beautiful ball. Yeah. Mobach, it's the brand Mobach. Um, put the wood in there, I put a little bit of foam in there, attach the roses, the spray rose to it, and I put it on the display right now for you, so I can turn it around, so you can watch it from all angles. So that's much easier. The thing that I'm now going to do, I'm going to add some flowers to it to make it bigger and more interesting. So look, look at it. Nowadays, you see a lot of bouquets that are handmade and they don't have a lot of green in there, but you see very beautiful, interesting flowers in there with different kinds of layers and not too much green. So I want to show you this with this arrangement. Then I'm going to add some beautiful flowers to it. Okay, let's start because you're talking a lot and we want to see something happening as well, Michael. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I'm using Veronica and put them a little bit in different kind of layers. So you yep. make, the, make the arrangement interesting to look at. And the thing that I will do, I will put them over here, but also at the other side. Not at the same length, but a little bit lower than that. Okay. Uh, John, you are uh, the man with the camera. Joe Hammonds is asking, can the camera be, be moved slightly closer? I think, uh, Joe, with this arrangement, we go up uh, in the height. Uh, so I don't think we can go a little bit uh, closer, maybe for a next arrangement. I think uh, also uh, the, the connection is a little bit more stable. So we see some more now as well. Uh, before my, now Michael starts to work quickly, so I need to uh, show you something as well, uh, like this one, oh, and I will try to uh, make it a little bit uh, different. Veronica, which Michael is using, it's a spray Veronica, so that's a really nice one. It's not your typical Veronica. It's a special one, you can see it closer from here. It's a really special one. So you also see that I'm using the Hypericum to add them to it. I work a little bit more on groups, so you make the arrangement a little bit more interesting to look at. So I'm working on the Hypericums on groups, the Veronicas on groups, because it has to almost look like an explosion of flowers that came out of the wooden construction. Yeah. Actually, the nice thing when we receive the flowers of, uh, of Floria, that we uh, notice that all the flowers already are cleaned all, all, till halfway, so they, they look great. Yeah. They did a great job. So I always like to remove the green of the, of, the, of the flower that I'm using because all the attention goes then to the flower. Yeah. So, and you can see that I'm putting also these beautiful chrysanthemums a little bit next to each other. Yeah. So you get more like an explosion of flowers almost. Yeah. Actually, the, the Hypericum uh, Michael is using, it's uh, Coco Kimono. The nice thing of Florius, if you go to their website, you can see that they've got uh, not only the red ones uh, like the Hypericum, but all the colors. They've got uh, greens, they've got whites, they've got uh, pinks, salmon. So it's really nice. So it's not only uh, an autumn flower, you can use this year round because you've got so many nice colors. So uh, meanwhile, John is making pictures yeah. that you can also, after the show, you can see it closer up. You have to follow our website and you can see everything that is uh, that, uh, how the arrangement looks like. Yeah. So you see, you that that you put all the flowers in different kind of length because now it will blow up a little bit more almost and it looks like a little garden. I think it's always nice to make an arrangement that you can look at when you put it on the table. And if you make, for example, a round, round, um, a round uh, um, just view. No, I think yeah. arrangement. you see it in just one view. If you take a look at this arrangement, you see all kinds of different kinds of movements. 
It looks really great. I will show you a picture of the uh, the chrysanthemum, a true yes, from close by. This is what uh, that's why John was in the in the screen as well. So you can see it's fringy and and it's really nice. It's it's a pink one, a Trusco, it's called. And uh, actually, it's also available in white. The thing that I'm, I'm always doing, because a lot of people are just always working on their arrangement very close, it's always good to stand a little bit to the back and just pay attention how the arrangement moves moves through your hand and that it looks nice and it is in balance. It's a really important thing. And also playing with the layers make that every every flower on itself stands out, which makes yeah. it really great. So I'm now using the Lysiantus. I think it's a really extraordinary, beautiful color. Put them also in different kind of layers. And you see that normally when you put all the flowers just on a, on a spot, it's one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. For me, it's a little bit boring to look at. So that's why I combine all the flowers that I'm using because this is really peaceful looking, really like nature. And this is more that it blends out. Yeah. The Lysiantus uh, Michael is using is called uh, Cotton Candy. It's a really sweet color grown by uh, Lucht Lysiantus. Uh, actually, uh, like candy. Unfortunately, yeah. we cannot eat it. That's the only bad thing. Uh, you can try it, but uh, you know why you shouldn't uh, try it, Michael? <laughs> why? Because wow. Lysiantus actually means bitter flower. Yeah, yeah that's true. So I will, I, will, I will do it at the end of the show because maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not going to survive it. Yeah, <laughs> you will lose your smile when you, when you eat a bitter flower. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to have that. No. Nope. So tell me a bit um, more, uh, Michael. How did you... Uh, yeah, survived this uh, this COVID nineteen. What did you do? COVID nineteen. Actually, I came from from um, America at the end of February, and then actually everything was starting in a little bit, and, and, and a lot of people were talking in the airplane also about COVID nineteen and it was coming and something was changing. And I came home and I was really worried, of course, because we travel so much around the globe that. If, if they're going to remove all the airplanes and, and we can't fly anymore, I don't have any business anymore. So actually I started to get worried in the beginning of March and then a company in Brussels, uh, close to Brussels, called me up and asked me, all right, Michael, do you want to come and work here? So I worked actually for two months almost in Brussels. So I don't have anything to complain actually. I'm still working a lot. And, uh, but it gives a different view on your, on your, on, on, on your future, actually. Because yeah. we don't know what the future will bring. Yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure, yeah. So, uh, but luckily, you, you, yeah, you could work in Belgium. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely true. So now also, because I am now more in, more in Holland, a lot of flower companies are calling me up and they're saying, all right, Michael, can you work for us? Can you decorate our store? Uh, because now you have time, you are more in Holland. So a bad thing came actually a good thing. So something is changing. But yeah. unfortunately, I really miss traveling a lot and to see America, see, see Japan, and see Africa, because it was all standing in the agenda, actually. Um, I, I really miss it a lot. I really miss it a lot. Yeah. By the way, Michael, do you hear this? Yeah, that's that I have to be faster, right? Yeah, you have to work a little bit faster. Oh, because... I have to work faster because you want to see as many arrangements as you can. Yeah. All right, so we have to... it's almost finished. Siska Lepers is already saying that it looks very nice. All right, thank you, Lucas. No, Siska, not oh, Lucas. Siska, sorry. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're thinking about Lucas all the time, but... No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. So this is the second arrangement that we've made finishing up. You can see all the beautiful flowers that are in beautiful layers. So every flower yeah. has all the tension in the arrangement. I really like it. Great also with the spray roses between the, the wood. Yeah. So that's why, because now, now you cannot see it, but if it's standing on the table, it's really interesting to look at because you are taking in the arrangement also. And you can see the beautiful flowers that are also between the wood. 
So there were a little bit of few hiding spots in there. I like that because then you keep on paying attention and take a look at, uh, at, at the arrangement that's, that's in your house. Yeah. So John are going to pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Did you glue these spray roses or just no. put into the floral foam? No, actually I just put them in the floral foam so they were watering up. So uh, the only thing that you have to do is give them a little bit more water nowadays and um, you can enjoy it. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Thumbs up, uh, Michael. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, in the meanwhile, I'm cleaning up a little of the things that I have on my feet, of course. Yeah. And I will tell you a little bit of secret because uh, I have a wooden floor, so I have a lot of shoes, everyone knows that, but now I'm standing on my socks, so it's a little bit weird to, to move, eh? but, yeah. because otherwise it makes too much noise. All right. Yeah, I, I, okay, okay, what's coming up next? Something special. Yeah, what's, what's coming up next? All right, all right. So everyone knows that uh, sometimes in a store, Sometimes you can have someone walking in and said, or John, for example, let's let's say I'm going to get married within 10 minutes. <laughs> I need a bridal wish within that time. Yeah. So I'm going to say to Michael, can you get me a five minute bridal bouquet? No, Michael says, I can't get you a five minute bridal bouquet, but I can get you a in six minutes. Okay, but then it has to be blindfolded. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. we're not going to do it blindfolded. Okay. No, we're not going to do it blindfolded. was a joke. We did it one time for a demonstration. We did it blindfolded. So I was almost a little bit in shock. So John is saying to me, um, how many minutes are I going to have? I'm going to prepare a little bit of flowers on the table. So. Don't pick that up from the five minutes. Or okay. Six minutes. Meanwhile, I can ask uh, John. Uh, Jeroen Steinberg is asking you, are you married again, uh, John Koopman? Yeah, but this time it's going to be. No, no, no. We can't do this. It's COVID 19. Don't touch me. <laughs> Luckily, I'm on the other side of the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just stay there, please. So you see that I'm dividing the flowers a little bit. So also when you have, don't you, if you don't have a lot of time, you have to combine the flowers a little bit on your table always. It works faster. But I have to do this in six minutes. No. Five. You have to do it in five minutes, come on. All right, is the, is the time counting already? Can you no. start a clock, uh, sort of clock, uh, John? Yeah, I will try to find something. Uh, we've got a black screen now, but I think we can start a five minute uh, countdown. So uh, let's go. Michael. Do you want me in the picture as well? No, not. <laughs> so he's getting more nervous than he already is. Move, move. Oh my God. So I will oh, have the flowers next to each other to make make a compact bridal bouquet. Oh, and I have only five minutes, and the bride is waiting, and she's upset to her groom, and yeah, and it looks more like a bridezilla than a bride. Uh, so it has to be. <laughs> then I will say, don't get married. Sorry. Don't get married if your bride is a bridezilla. Yeah, but you only uh, can get that sort of information after you get married. Oh, really? Yeah. I always want to have that before. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're not married. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for the yeah. Michael, Chess Osborne is already saying, poor lad, you always trick him. Miss you guys. Ah, uh, miss you too. So, uh, no, Michael, uh, yeah, Michael, of course, has to do this uh, uh, quickly. And uh, we are on uh, 3 minutes 45 now, Michael. Three just so you know. Five. Yeah. But it's also a good trick to learn yourself to make a bouquet quickly. I mean, you have to, as a florist, you have to count your time as well. So uh, don't spend yeah. 20 minutes on a bouquet unless you, ca you can uh, calculate it in the price. So uh, a bridal bouquet, of course, in five minutes, that's uh, a bit of a hurry, but yeah, uh, let's face it, Michael is a good flower magician, so he should do it, otherwise it's not a flower magician. 
He can, but he can always disappear. Yeah, <laughs> we already had that a couple of times. So. <laughs> no, 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 no. How many minutes do I have left? You got three minutes. Three minutes no, left. No, two, two minutes. No, 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 no. No, you got three minutes. Three, uh, two minutes fifty now. Two minutes fifty. Keep, All right. yeah. Keep it in balance. Yeah. So you see that you're turning your bridal bouquet every time. Turn it around. Turn it around. And you see where yeah, I have a flower like this, I'm going to remove it. Actually, uh, Mike was using uh, another gypsum villa at the moment, also from Malima. It's called uh, Million Stars. I think everybody knows uh, Million Stars. So it's a little bit of a smaller flower uh, than the Excellence, but it's really great, especially also for bridal bouquets. Next to that, he's uh, again using the Etrusium to present them. And if I'm correct, he's also using the spray rose Belarus from the Opstal. It's a white uh, spray rose, a really nice one. Yeah, a beautiful one. And you got two minutes left, uh, Michael, by the way. Oh, and I have to finish it up also. And the funny thing is the pink white variety of Lysiantus is called. Yeah, tell us. Bridal kiss. Bridal kiss. Bridal kiss. But uh, yeah, luckily you have to stay uh, one uh, one and a half meters apart from each other, so there's no kissing involved uh, today for you guys. Oh, oh that's, that's good. That's good for me. That's good for me. <laughs> I I have oh, some different reactions. One and a half minutes left, uh, Michael. How many minutes? One and a half. How many? One. One minute left. One minute left. One, yeah, one twenty. One twenty left. All right. Martin Groen is asking if you are strong. One minute left, Michael. One minute left. Yep. All right. He's tying oh, come on. with some tape. Yeah, with some tape around it because then it will stay very, very strong and tied together. 45 seconds. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you lazy, right. blah, 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 blah. lazy <laughs> mother. Woo. All right, I put some golden rope around it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I want to always to use a lot. Come on, until the end, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Woo! And it's uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, finish! Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> Especially now with COVID-19, you always have something nice to decorate. We're staying home a lot. It looks a bit like a pineapple. So I'm going to show you what you can do at home, just with a few easy steps to make a beautiful arrangement at home. Um, just buy a few flowers and you can make something very extraordinary. So yeah. the thing that I'm using, I'm, I'm using the, the plates. A little, a little romance. A very simple plate. Actually, it's from the IKEA. You can make a commercial out of it, of course, but it's from IKEA. Just put it on your table. I have some beautiful faces to, to combine them to, uh, uh, with each other. Sorry. I'm not sure what this is, but I really like the color green. So I'm using this green color and the green wall, of course, that I have at home. And then I combine the materials with each other. Um, for example, this one is made out of glass. 
And it's a jellyfish. Now it's I a, can see it's it. a jellyfish, John. That's absolutely right. I will put it on the display so I can turn it around for you. So you can see it from all angles. So Michael, before you start, there. when you're putting it and all together. You can see that I put here also some beautiful vases from Mobach. Uh, everyone knows that I like Mobach a lot with a beautiful gold color. And the thing that I'm doing, I have some, they are also extraordinary. I'm already lighting it up already to make a little bit more romantic feeling at home because of COVID-19, we are at home a lot. So, and then I'm going to add some flowers to it. So, especially here, you can see now everything is a little bit in balance. You have something high, you have something lower. And if you lit the candle? Yes, of oh course. It's going to be a romantic feeling. Especially we have COVID-19, so we stay a little bit from each other, but John can have the feeling a little bit. Yeah. Michael, so, when you start, before you start, yeah. I want to, uh, we do this every first Friday of the month. You can already start, by the way, you uh, and then uh, explain. So uh, what I want to do, actually, is do a lottery. Who's going to be the next flower magician? That's because yeah, I want to know who's going to be uh, on the 3rd of uh, July, who's going to be the flower magician. So uh, let's start the lottery. So we got Geertje the next uh, show. Geertje, so that's you're watching. You're going to be next. Yeah, so uh, be prepared, Geertje. <laughs> be prepared. Hopefully you have nothing to do on that day. So uh, <laughs> yes. you have yes. to pay for your yes. plans and your vacation and everything. Geertje is a colleague of mine. She makes really, really beautiful things, also worldwide. So. Um, Put it in your agenda next month, all right? Because it's going to be fabulous. I know that for sure. Geertje, from, uh, from here, good luck. <laughs> and it's going to be good, for sure. Yeah, I know that for sure. All right, in the meanwhile, I add some very beautiful eucalyptus to the, to, to the, to the pineapple face. The fragrance is really nice, so it's nice to have, that, uh, the, to have that in your living room. And I add the spray roses. I broke them up a little bit. You saw it in the meanwhile. Yeah. And putting them tight together, then I can put them just tight together, very simple in the face. You see that I cut it with a sharp, sharp scissor. But yeah. normally you have to do it, of course, in a, with a knife, cut them in an angle. That's the most important part because then the roses can suck up the water very good. And actually, and then... sometimes when you are at home, you have some tape in your house, you can do it just with normal tape. Uh, you don't have to do it with floral tape. If you have, that's the best, of course. But you can also do it with simple tape. Yeah. So I put it around. So it's very easy to make it by yourself, of course, at home. And then put the flowers in there. I will cut them a little bit shorter. Also make sure you don't put any leaves in the water. Yeah, that's, that's very, very important. important. So you see that the attention goes to the eucalyptus. The attention goes to the beautiful spray roses. And the color green keep it very modern and very peaceful to look at, actually. Yeah. So I'm also using the Lysiantus, um, the color red. They call it the color red. Yeah. It's a really extraordinary, beautiful one. And I tied them up a little bit more next to each other. That they are nicer to combine when you have more in a small bouquet, in a small arrangement. The nice thing actually with uh, Lysiantus for Van der Lucht, they've got so many flowers on one stem. So it's uh, already one stem is already a bouquet. Yeah, because and now I have, I, I removed this. I have four stems, uh, yeah, four stems on this, five, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Five stems in this bunch of bouquet. So that's quite a lot. So you can use a lot, of course, and you, you can break it in different kind of small pieces and attach them with each other so you see that i make the what's everyone doing at home are there any questions 
I think they're already falling asleep, Michael. Because you're Sorry. making it cozy with the candlelight and everything, so uh, people are falling asleep. <laughs> no, really? No. No, it's going to yeah. be a romantic feeling. Yeah. Actually, I can uh, put some reactions from the previous bouquet, from the wedding bouquet. Uh, let's see what we've got there. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, I do. Uh, and arm out to come when uh, John was swinging it. <laughs> Uh, Mero van der Berg, nice. Well done, Michael. That's what Geertje is saying. So, uh, yeah, we've got some, uh, some good reactions. So, uh, good. yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, so the bouquet with the Lysiantus is finished. So, I'll also cut them a little bit shorter. And with the spring roses, it's just on top of the face. And this one, I'm going to put it more like an angle. So then it's also interesting to look at, of course. I will finish it up with the tape, but this bouquet, you're going to see it that it's laid into the water. So this is not going to be look, look, look nice when you put it in the face. So I will put a little bit of rope around it, just a small piece. Yeah. Um, where is my scissor? Well, you forgot your scissors. <laughs> you were gone a couple of times, but now your scissors are gone. <laughs> wow, that's tar terrible. All right, finishing up, tying it all together. So yeah, it's really so nice. easy to make it at home. I will cut it a little bit shorter. Actually, you can do this yourself as well if you just buy a, a, nor a bouquet in the supermarket or you got a bouquet from somebody. Just take the, the bouquet and you, you don't really like it. Take the bouquet apart, take some vases and rearrange it yourself. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes you get a present sometimes. And then uh, then, then, then your, your friend or your family will walk in with a, with a beautiful bouquet. And sometimes there are some flowers that don't last longer or they maybe last only for four days. Then it's easy to remove the flowers out of it, combine them next to each other and make something really, good, really beautiful just on your table. Yeah. So. The thing that I'm also using is an organ. I had the plant here, here in my living room. So I cut it off and I'm going to put it in arrangement also. So sometimes just also pay attention what you have in your living room and you can combine it with, uh, with, well, with the rest of the beautiful materials. Yep. Cut them also in an angle that they will live longer, of course. Yeah, great. You know, Jonas is saying very funny show. Greetings from Estonia. Thank you for watching, Hi, Estonia. So. Here it is, just very simple, just on the table. You can see the golden lights, it's really beautiful, more aromatic feeling. The spray roses, the eucalyptus that gives a beautiful smell, and the red lysiantus. So, this is the fourth one. Looks great. So, and in the meanwhile, thinking about the lysiantus, it's actually a special day today because the queen of the grower of, uh, the, of uh, the Lysiantus, Yolanda van der Lucht, it's her birthday today. And um, because if it is someone's birthday, you have to receive a present, right? Yeah. So, Yolanda. Uh, let's it, right? Here it comes. Well, wait. <laughs> she's, she's still watching the show and it's flying. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so did you catch it? Yes, you catched it. She looks happy. Yeah, that's good. So Yolanda, <laughs> enjoy your day and uh, yeah, enjoy happy, the best. Beautiful. Happy birthday, uh, Yolanda. What? Happy birthday, Yolanda. And, and meanwhile, she says, not from the buy, don't buy from the supermarket. Buy in the in the flower store, of course. But uh, sometimes you. Part. Yeah, sometimes you get uh, from a real good friend. They sometimes even buy from a supermarket, which they shouldn't do. They should buy, of course, from their local uh, florist. Yeah, that is really important. Just buy at a good flower store, flower store, please. Yeah, please, please, please do that. And you can also buy in a very good flower store. Uh, in, in Holland, we have a lot, and worldwide, we have a lot. You can buy a lot of beautiful materials, all, uh, 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 of course, but always pay attention what you have in your living room, what you have, and combine them with other things. Then you can make a beautiful arrangement that you can put on your table, something like this, because it's easy made, and the flowers that you tied up together, it will also last for a pretty long time. Michael. So that's, that's the thing that I want to give to you. Michael. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about. Next, right, next. Down and go to yeah. this one. Yeah. You love that. Come yeah, on. catch this. <laughs> Congratulations on your birthday, love. Yeah. See you next time. See you soon. See you soon. Yolanda, I, uh, I told them not to sing because uh, I think uh, we will lose all the viewers. So, uh, especially with oh, singing. Happy birthday to oh, yeah. Right, that's it. That's it. All right. So, the next, next arrangement, the final arrangement, actually. Um, I was thinking about to make something different, something special. So the thing that I use is floral foam, a big piece of floral foam. So John is going to bring it to me. Thank you, John. So this is actually the piece that um that I used. Um, John, you can wait for it to bring bring the arrangement um, because this is actually pretty big. Yeah. If you suck it up with water, it's going to be very heavy. So the thing that I did, and I'm going to show you a little bit in small little steps. You can cut it in every shape that you want to have, of course. So with big knife, you just use big knife and cut it in, for example, the size. It's, it's actually a lot of work because I'm not going to do it all because otherwise it will take too long. But you can make, of course, every shape that you want to have. So, you're cutting so a female? maybe a lot of people are now watching. Are you cutting a female shape now, Michael? Sorry? You're cutting a female shape now, right? Yeah, 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 with a, with a small little, little wrist. Yeah, and that's why it doesn't resemble. <laughs> it's Just continue, Michael. Pretend that he's not there. <laughs> so, you can see that the shape that I'm now using it, because it's going to more look like a face. That's the bad, that, that's the good part about floral foam, that you can give it the shape that you want to have. And to finish it up. So it's pretty cool when you have a celebration or you have a party or you want to have something special on your table. Just buy a big block of oasis of, 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 of floral foam and you can cut it in every shape that you want to have. So at the end of this, you put it in the water and for everyone that's not familiar with floral foam, don't put it underwater. Just put it on top of the water and the floral foam will suck up the water in every cabinet that there is in this floral foam. So that's the most important part and I want to give it to you. That's don't put it under the water because yeah. otherwise everything at the outside is dark and the inside is as dry as it can be. So that's the most important part. John is now going to bring me the floral foam that I made with the face because I finished it up and I put all the flowers in there. So we're going to switch it now, right? Yeah. This is magic. No, it's not. It's it's hard labor. Yeah, <laughs> for you it's hard labor. Oh yes, of <laughs> course, Michael. So you see that I use the shape of the vase of, with the floral foam and attach all the flowers in there with the beautiful spray roses, chrysanthemum, hypericums, also the caspadias, and you see that it really looks like a vase. It's a lot of yeah. work. I can promise you that. But it's worth it. It's really worth it. It looks really great. I mean, what? It look. It looks really great. I mean, uh, John is making a picture now, right? No, so I'm go. just in the picture myself. I, if you want me to take a picture, I will, Mr. Director. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll put the flowers a little bit to the left so you can see everything. So the thing that I I, I will do right now, I'm. Oh, what will you do so right now? I, can't. I will now do is cut the eucalyptus and really make a base with the green. Okay, so actually uh, you're tricking the people because it looks like a vase, but it isn't. It's just the, the oasis. No. Yeah. Yeah, it look, looks good. Like Sometimes it looks like something, but it isn't. So That's uh, totally true. 
you have to face with all the flowers. So I'm going to attach the green in there and I will twist it around a little bit. This is really the world upside down. I mean, you got uh, the, the flowers as a, as a base and a vase, and using the yeah. greens in the vase. Yeah, because the green is so beautiful, because if I'm, if I'm not doing that, if I'm adding all the flowers in here and don't use the green, all the attention will blend in with everything. So you see the face and you see the flower as one picture. Now you see a beautiful face and the green in there. Yeah, it really so looks great. When you're, when you're making something in a hotel or you or you make some, something special for a wedding or something, this is really something nice, in my opinion, to, to make and to, to do something different. Yeah. Just make sure you put a bowl under the oasis, of course, because always a little bit of water drops yeah. out. Yeah, that's actually the most important part, because a lot of water is getting out of the foam, of course. Yeah. Because every time when you, a lot of floral designers that are watching right now knows that, but every time when you put a stamp in the oasis, um, uh, the, uh, actually the water will come out of there. So that's, that's very important. Yeah. Actually, uh, the Iberica used is uh, Coco Kimono. There's uh, uh, Veronica or a uh, Chrysanthemum Serenity Sweet in there from Zento, uh, the breeder Deliflor. Uh, what did we have more over there? We got the uh, Crospedias in there as well. So it, it looks really so you nice. See that I finished it up now, now with uh, with the eucalyptus, and I'm going to add the Veronicas that we that we know uh, because these are the familiar ones, but they are really beautiful with beautiful color. Yeah. And, um, I'm going to attach them in the arrangement, but I'm going to remove the green a little bit because when you put it in floral foam. The water will suck up. Also, the green is going to use a lot of water. So if I remove everything from the step, all the water that will suck up is going to directly to the flower. So I will cut it in an angle, of course, and put it in an arrangement. So you make it a little bit more bigger. Yeah, they look great. Actually, Veronica is a summer flower, but it's uh, it's grown in uh, in Ethiopia and uh, Kenya uh, by uh, Florius. So it's available year round. And actually, they also started up a, a farm in Colombia to uh, supply to the US market. So also there, they will have those beautiful Veronica soon. So the Veronica is, is, is very beautiful. And they are from Kenya. Kenya, I've, I've been there now for six times. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. Yes. So the things that, that you are seeing with the first arrangement that I made, actually the second one with the big bowl, you remember that one? I add all the flowers more next to each other to make it more like a modern look. Now I'm going to divide all the flowers actually and put them a little bit on the same spot between each other to make a more classic look. Yeah, so you see that the face is really romantic in my opinion. And now I'm going to add all the Veronica's to it and also make it a little bit more round shape. Yeah, this I'm not big enough so I can stand a little bit on top of the arrangement, but I'll do a little bit the left. That looks really great. A lot of the left is already saying wow. Or maybe that's the bouquet she gets that she likes the bouquet that she uh, that she has, but I don't know, but uh, <laughs> no, it, it really gives uh, an effect. Uh, that people, it's, it's a showstopper. I mean, people will stop and watch what's going on if you make something like this. That's good because everyone is actually pretty quiet, in my opinion. But everyone is enjoying the show, I think. I hope so. Well, you're talking so much, they don't even have questions to, uh, to, <laughs> to make a comment or, uh, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's so nice. I think people are flabbergasted to see uh, an arrangement like this. I mean, this is something again, totally new. That's good to hear, that's good yep. to hear. Yolanda. It's always nice too, because, because we're traveling so much that you see a lot of different kinds of designs and every continent has its own, own special thing and its own nature. Because a lot of people are always asking, Michael, where do you have your inspiration from? Or, or where do you learn from? I think, First of all, we learn a lot from each other. So I'm working always here with a lot of colleagues of mine. 
right? And I think when you combine and share your knowledge that we have together, um, you, you can make the best out of it. You can make the best out of it. Yeah. And it's most important that you are always paying attention to each other. What do you do? And we can learn from each other. And again, every continent has its own beautiful style and its beautiful things that they have in their country. In, in, my, in uh, October, I had, uh, I had the privilege to go to Japan. And um, yeah, it was very, very special, very special continent. Yeah. So you know why nothing? Nobody's asking a question, Michael, because people are talking with each other. Nikki Meter is telling Yolanda that she has nice Lysiantes, that they love their Lysiantes. So that's people good. are that's good. chit-chatting. Uh, Joe Hammonds is saying it's a showstopper. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree, Joe. This is really looking great. Uh, Karin as well says, uh, love this arrangement. I don't know it, if it's the arrangement or they don't see you, that, that they like it more than the other arrangements. Yeah, this, this is better, right? Like this. And yeah, now it's a face with hands. <laughs> <laughs> like this. It's just yeah. like a circus. It's magic. Yeah. So I'm also putting the Lysiantes in there. I put yeah. them a little bit lower than the Veronica's. Um, so because then you make the, arra the, the, uh, the uh, arrangement, sorry, Again, interesting to look at if you work in layers. Yeah, that's that's totally true. Actually, uh, yeah, we're using the greens from Adamex. And the nice thing, what they have, they split up uh, the greens. So you know uh, which one is which. They made uh, an icon for it. So they go for uh, bush, fern, grass, moss, big leaves. So. They split it up and they made a nice uh, poster out of it as well, which you can find on their website. It's uh, really useful to download uh, that one. And uh, yeah, like, like you said, Michael, you love the greens that came in. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, that, that's, that's, uh, that's the good part about being a floral designer. You always get so many beautiful, uh, beautiful materials that you can work with. So. It's it's really a privilege to work with those beautiful materials that we that we that we have, and a lot of growers are always saying, "Michael, do you want to work with this? Do you want to work with that?" So, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I, I'm actually feeling blessed that I can travel so much and that I can see the world around it, and that I can work with so many beautiful materials. Yeah, I mean, uh, also with flower circus. Yeah, if you work with with, with good growers and, and companies like like we do again today. Uh, that's that's great. I mean, if you see the Lysiantes, the volume they have, and and the long lasting they are, uh, the Veronicas, the Hypericums from uh, Florius, the Gypsophila and the uh, Craspedia from Malima, the spray roses from the Opstal, uh, the chrysanthemums from uh, Deliflor, from the Brita Deliflor. I mean, uh, the greens yeah. from Adamex. We use some some great products, and we are very thankful. Uh, uh, that they uh, they gave us uh, these beautiful products. What what type of grass are you using now, Michael? Do you know it? Actually, this is really really strong strong grass. It just came out of the box yesterday. I saw it yesterday. But it's really really thick. So the thing that I will do is just break it. A lot of people are saying no, don't break it. But because I'm doing that, you pay attention that you the arrangement is going to be look a little bit different. And you make it actually wider with nothing because yep. it's only the grass that makes it a little bit wider with the arrangement no one can see me now but i'm still behind the arrangement so Excuse you see me. that you give an extra three-dimensional look with the grass that i'm using right now so you see that it's going to be look different and bigger with actually nothing because it's only a little bit of grass yeah Actually, the, the grass is also from Australia, and um, it's, uh, I think, uh, if I, uh, I see it right, that it's a uh, flexi grass. There's also yes, steel grass. Flexi grass, you can also make a knot and all, uh, all kinds of, of nice uh, things with it. And breaking it, that's actually something you can do when it's fresh. When it's old, you can't break it anymore because uh, then it breaks apart. Yeah. So this is really, really fresh, so you can just use it in here and break it very easily i'm going to attach just this is going to be the last one i'm going to attach in there i have some 
Cospidias uh, with a very beautiful dark color. I'm going to attach that of the, as last one in the arrangement. And I will put them a little bit lower. And now I'm going to do a thing that the grower doesn't like. Oh, you Sorry for that. <laughs> I've cut them a little bit shorter. Don't pay attention, all right? Sorry, grower. No. All right. Because when you're doing with the Craspedia in different kind of layers, you make the arrangement much, much interesting. And this is actually the finishing touch. I'm not going to attach them all to it. Michael, your mom is saying hello as well. Greetings from your mother and auntie. Hey, hi mom. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> Can you see the... Hmm. Yep. COVID-19, think about COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's circus so we have the uh, the, the painted craspedia it looks like a circus nose yes it is it definitely does and you got them in different colors like the circus noses as well so that's uh, that's great yeah so i'm going to clean this up put it up here put it a little bit to the left so this is the arrangement, my last arrangement, with a beautiful face under it. Uh, right. Eucalyptus, Lysiantus, Veronica's, Craspedias. And um, yeah, this was it, actually. My first live demonstration for the whole world, and not an audience that we have. Um, yeah. COVID-19 brings us a lot of worse things worldwide, but it also gives us an opportunity, uh, really an opportunity to think different and to work from our house but but the thing that we love i travel a lot i love that really really but i also love my house a lot so it was a privilege to um show my arrangement to you all and uh flower service is always nice to travel with uh with, with, with each other and um Geertje Stienstra, really really good luck in a month and um yeah john what yeah. do you want to say you want the final word john what is the final word for us I, I want to uh, to have the final word because I also want to tell that um, next Friday or from uh, next Friday we will have Flower Circus Talks. That's what we did the last uh, 10 weeks on a daily basis, interviewing people from the flower industry. We keep on doing that on, uh, on Fridays because I think a lot of uh, people are uh, working again. England is opening up. Uh, good luck with that, uh, Nikki. So your shop is opening soon again. So uh, full swing again, the whole world. So that's why we only do it on Fridays. The 3rd of July, we will have uh, Geertje doing the show. Uh, Michael, thank you very much. Uh, John, uh, please take some pictures after the show so we can show them on uh, Facebook and Instagram as well to the people. We will. Thank you, everybody who's watching. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see the rerun, it will be on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. And there's one important final thing that we need to do because with Flower Circus, we never leave without a Big Bang. I could say, turn around and bend over, but instead... Oh. 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 <laughs> See you again next time. Thank, Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.